Oh, hello, no. We were in the neighborhood, so I thought we'd just drop in. <laughs> I didn't know you two were such good friends. Oh, I'm just helping the clerks, and the poor thing needs exercise. <laughs> Say hello to Mrs. Daniels, Bouncer. Hello, Bouncer. Hello. Oh, you are a good dog. <laughs> Sorry about the mess, but I've been flat out getting the exhibition ready. Ah. And, um, oh, how are you enjoying, um, living here? Are you sure you wouldn't be happier with, uh, something a little large? Oh, no, it's plenty big enough for me. The smaller it is, the less work there is. Yes, I suppose there is that. No, is there something I can do for you? Mm. Oh, nothing for me. It's, um, Eileen I'm worried about. I'm afraid that uh, she's a long way from being herself. Yes, she did still seem a bit frail this afternoon. Exactly. And that's why it's up to us to, um, help her out. No, what are you doing? What do you mean? Well, you've been acting strangely ever since you got here. Oh, <laughs> I'm just a little restless from my brisk walk. Perhaps if I uh, sit for a while, it will settle me down. <laughs> Paul! Yes. Left foot on red. No, oh, yeah, Jane, where is it? Hang on. Where are you? Am I up? What's that funny? Nothing. I'm sorry. You look silly. Yeah. Let's just see your wings before we start passing comments. Thank you very much. Hug, go. I think you can get a snappy dog. Moving, you're out. <laughs> I'll get it. Yeah, hurry up, then. Come on. Oh, oh Dad, come in. Do you want to play? Uh, not right now, thanks. You all look like you're enjoying yourselves. Hi, Jim. Uh, I think I'm getting a bit too old for this day. Well, don't get up on my account. <laughs> Moving, you're out. Yes, yes, I know, I know. We don't have to come home yet. No, 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 not yet. Um, I just came over to say not to be too late, though. Beverly spoke to your mother and we're all heading down to Adelaide tomorrow. There's nothing to be worried about. We're not going to leave you there unless it's all sorted out. Oh, listen, Lucy can stay with us while you're away, if you like. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, look, we'll, we'll work that out later when you're in a better position to discuss the matter, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll leave you to it. And um, remember, not too late. See you, Jim. Bye. Bye. I don't want to play anymore. Me either. Hey, why all these long faces? We don't want to go back. <laughs> It'll be all right. We heard what Dad said. They're not going to leave you there until everything's cleared up. And that's why I think you should join the bowling club. They really are a very vital group. <laughs> no, you're wasting your time. My work at the gallery is running me off my feet. I'm really not interested. Oh, oh well, never mind. Anyway, it was lovely of you to pop in. Oh, I'll see you later. Way. Have you heard the latest about Mr. Bishop's new venture? You mean as a writer, yes. I'm sure he'll be perfectly capable at it. I mean, someone of Mr. Bishop's intelligence. Oh, yes. <laughs> I bouncer. <laughs> There, you see, I knew it. I knew it. Is this enough evidence for you? Bouncer can sense the spirit present. It's just taking him a little while to warm up. Oh, don't be silly now. Bouncer, shut up. It's no good. He can detect the vibrations. There is something here. I can feel it too. He'll have me kicked out if he keeps this up. Now take him outside now. We are not alone. No, the whole building will be in here in a moment. No, come on, Bouncer, you come with me. Come on, Bouncer. Outside. That's the boy. I'll tie you up. Come on, I'll tie you up downstairs. That's a good boy. Oh, spirit, speak to me. Spirit, speak to me. Good oh, heavens, it is speaking to me. Oh, spirit, you know me. Nell Mangrel from 32 Ramsey Street. Oh, spirit, are you unhappy? Oh, yes, I thought you must be. Oh, Spirit. Spirit, I demand that you show yourself. Show yourself. Ah! I'm going to go back to that. This is very good with animals. No. No, what is it? Are you ill? In a manner of speaking, yes. Well, what happened? Oh, it's something almost beyond human comprehension. Oh. oh, I thought I heard a crying sound 
It seemed to be coming from the chimney, and, and when I looked up there, something was looking back at me. Surely not. Something evil, Mrs. Daniels. Its terrible eyes bored right into my soul. <gasps> don't, Mrs. Daniels, don't. You could disappear forever into another dimension, just like the previous tenants. Just stay there, Nell. Tony. Right here, Mrs. Daniels. Could you come up here for a second, please? Sure. I'm afraid we'll have to take the risk of someone disappearing into another dimension, Nell. I've given Bouncer around the courtyard. Oh, good. What's up? Well, uh, we're not quite sure, but um, we think there's a, a bird or a possum up the chimney. Well, you may think that, but I certainly don't. With eyes like those, it could well have been the devil himself. I hate to ask this, but would you mind having a look? Oh, gee, I don't know. Uh, must I? <clears throat> don't do be careful! Oh, it's you, is it? <laughs> 